All right, we never left, but we're back. And it is the moment everyone's been waiting for because we haven't had a magic set in what, like three days? Mm -hmm. Yep, so this is it. Is this the longest it's been? It must be a new record. It must be a new record. We, I feel like we haven't been opening anything for ages. Like, we don't even know how to open stuff anymore. It's crazy. So we're going to start off. We got a lot of stuff we're going to open. You know, whatever the set brings, as usual, we are there. We're going to crack it. We got the collectors right here and the little mini, mini case here and the big daddy. We got the regular booster. We're going to do that today. We're going to start off with the, the, the regular draft booster. Um, I know I really want to open the collector like right now, right now, but gonna do our best, take our time, enjoy the set. We haven't really done a lot of research. We know there's like all this drama about the Lotus, Jewel Lotus. If you look at pricing, it's still crazy, man. You know? It's gonna, it's probably gonna be the chase card. Yeah, yeah, I think long term for sure, chase card obvious out there, but. The value is crazy. It's crazy. I don't, there's no way that can hold, you know? Yeah, usually when it's that high, it always drops. Yeah, I don't, I don't see. I mean, that... I, there's rarely any card starts low than goes high. The only card I remember recently was Oko. Oh, yeah. Your number was like low-ish. Low-ish. like skyrocket. Yeah, yeah. There's just so much hype on this. I think that's what's causing the boxes to be really expensive too. So if the Jewel Lotus starts coming down, I think box prices will probably come back to normal. It could also be a print run issue. Yeah, yeah. They're always talking about print run issues right now. If this is a specialty box, there might be a shorter print run. No one knows. Who knows, yeah. I think they're gonna it's be interesting. It's a new product. You know, catering to special format, and they put some uh, pretty powerful cards in here to entice people to get in on it. So we'll see how it goes. Is it loaded or is it not? Right? It doesn't look too. I mean, loaded as of what? Like, if the value is it gonna be like a lot of high power cards gonna, you know? They changed the picture for Vampire Tutor. Yeah, that's that's the uh, that's the new one they've been using. All right. Lately, yeah. I only know the vision one. That's the OG. I like that one. We should bring that one back. Ninety dollars. For what? The visions. For visions. Yeah. I'm opening it, by the way. I'm going. Bala, I'm a baller. I can retire. <laughs> I think I got two of those. Ballin'. Dude, they're like forty dollars. Back in the day, they were cheap. I think I bought one for like twenty or less. Yeah, I think at the time, like Visions was out, it was at most. Yeah. Oh my I guess gosh! That's a big deal from Demonic. Yeah, it's a big deal. What the heck is like black? Fresh. Oh yeah, I what, what am I talking about? There's three on top, three on bottom. All right. Oh, that's my Whoa, these boxes are the small kind. It's almost like Mystery Booster. Look at this, kind of thin. How many packs are in here? 24? Wow. Each pack contains 20 cards. Oh, wow, okay. All right, I'm going down the middle, all the way down in the back. All right, here we go. So that's the middle, bottom middle right there is what I picked as the first one. So this is really interesting. They're playing with all these different sizes and stuff. I'm uh, very interested in that. So we're gonna go. This is it. This is it. We're going, this is pretty fast. Commander Legends. First draft booster on the channel. We're taking it slow. We're gonna do these, then we'll do the collectors. You know, kind of. You're gonna pull. You're gonna pull. Uh, Jewel Lotus using the Nyx Lotus. 
Yeah, that's the, whoa, whoa, there's like this, uh, here we go, special instruction booklet in here. Old school. Well, this zombie dude looks pretty cool. Let's see, command the draft. I'll let you read this. <laughs> Click down phonics. Sweet, there she is. Beautiful booster packs. I dig it. I like the color, purpley, shiny. Still three rows, like usual. Uh, let's see, there's three, six, eight packs per row instead. Okay, this is it. How many packs are there? 24 packs. Okay. And this is made in USA print run, by the way. No tear tab. The, the packs feel thick. Yeah, definitely, definitely thicker than usual, heavier. All right, let's go for the Lotus. Lotus or bust. Hey, these packs are the hard to open ones. Like really hard to open. If you try to open like this, you can't open it. Try to separate it from the middle. Yeah, you gotta do this. Yeah, these are really hard to open ones. I mean, they open really clean. It's good for people who wanna reseal. Those sucky people out there. Let's see the order. Huh. Interesting. First time looking at these cards. We're gonna go increase our speed. Marvel Diamond, that's cool. Two mana. All right, we got to the uncommons. Fencing Ace. Two for one one. Whatever. Merchant Raiders, three visits, and first one, Jessica's Will. I think that's up there. Yeah, I see it. It's at uh, 992 right now, one of the top rares. It's a good hit, good start. Whoa, okay, Uncommon back here. Not sure what that, that's, all, that's all about. Another Uncommon in the back. A foil, Gale Strike Common, and the token. Okay. So I wonder is I got four five five uncommons in that pack. That's interesting. And the, they were in the back. Is that supposed to be like that? Yeah. I think there's some some kind of interesting slot. I think we'll have to I'll go back and do our homework on this one. I mean we like to be surprised, and that was definitely surprising. So can you get something else behind that rare? I feel like you can. I feel like you can. Like maybe some rares or mythics? We'll find out. Val of Wilderness. Two mythics or two rares a pack? Maybe. Hey, three visits is a good uncommon I just pulled. Three dollars. There's a couple uncommons. It's like two, three dollars. Very good. Sooner or later, never know. Oh, Meteor Golem, haven't seen that guy in a while. Rejuvenating Springs, nice. These ones will be pretty good. These like dual lands. I think the four or five dollars at least settle in. Oh, I got a foil rare at the back. Oh, it's one of the etched, new etched foil rare. What is it? Nice. Crack, crack the thumbless. This kind of goes with our keep on crack, cracking theme. That's kind of cool. It's more 3D than usual. This kind of new. It looks pretty high end. It's got like this Regular matte foil. A buck ninety-five. Okay, that's terrible then. Terrible pull, but cool looking card. So what is it considered? What? Manor Legends foil. Yeah, it's just foil. Etched foil. Five, well, the foil version's 564. Oh, that's pretty good. So, so they don't have foils anymore. Everything is etched foil? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, what do you know? Oh, actually, I have a regular foil here. 
Maybe the rares are edge foil? I don't know. How about cast down? Is that any good anymore? Oh, what never your, mind. What does your contact in Magic say? Uh, the Wizards of the Coast guy hasn't been calling me back. So, uh, we're gonna have to call him up, say what's up. Plague Reaver is the rare. Plague. P L A G U E. You know this this card stock? It kind of looks like the not so good one. It smells kind of strong too. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it, gloss? it's glossy. It's kind of like the theme booster. I feel like, uh -huh. or the mystery booster. Whoever was doing those, uh -huh. it doesn't smell very good. Oh, got a rare, so I got two rares in this pack. Averna, the Chaos Bloom, and a Foil and Common, Confiscate. Averna's 95%. That sucks. What about, oh, Plague Reaver is like a buck. Yeah. You gotta keep your own commons, man. You never know, like, they can, they can be worth something. Yeah, a couple bucks. I'm down for that. If it's not five dollars, it's bulk. Dang, my bad. Vow of duty, ingenuity. I was I used to look for those uncommon, but I don't. Oh, first one, first mythic port razor. Uh, oh, I see it. Seven dollars, first mythic. Okay, not not a hot one. Brenlin, the Moon Kraken, Kraken, and Rograss, Son of Raga. Whoa, that was a cool Seb artwork right there. The Prismatic Piper, I like it. Maybe they'll have a uh, play mat in this one. I might get it. It's looking cool. I like it. So it looks like we got. Yeah, that's true. We need to do like a lotus. <laughs> Who, drew Nick's lo Who drew the lotus? I don't remember. It's kind of, it's kind of sad. I don't remember. Oh, Jaloom Tomb. That's an old school reprint. Sky Diamond again. Sisse's Ring. Wow, Visions artwork. Straight out Visions. Explosion of Riches. Revenant. Brass Herald. And I got another land, War Room, W-A-R, Room. And I saw that. I think it's like five, six dollars. Okay, cool. Good luck. I mean... Moti, and I got another foil. Oh, I got another non-foil Prismatic Piper. All right, back to back. Back to back. I'm getting a lot of foils, by the way. May contain these cards. Includes one foil, one rare, so it looks like I get a foil in every pack. <laughs> That's why I'm getting a lot of foils, huh? Yeah. And then you get three uncommon, 13 common, two legendary cards. Foil, mythic, showcase, or borderless card in less than 1%. Hmm. Wow, so you're, if according to your pack openings, like this, or whatever you've been doing Zendikar, it's really hard to get the borderless. Yeah. So this one's less than 1% chance you get a borderless or showcase foil mythic. Supreme Will, Advocates. Oh, got a Stinger Fling Spider. Oh, this is a cool looking card. Horizon Stone. Five mana if you would Lose unspent mana, that mana becomes colorless instead. Okay. A buck ninety-five. Looks cool though. I like the artwork. Oh, got an Amrith, the Lustrous. So no lands, by the way. That's, I just noticed that after opening like six packs, there's no basic lands in these draft boosters. Oh, that's good. None at all. Yeah. 
Let, 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 less stuff to throw away, right? Paint on blade, pride of the perfect. Elves, you control gear plus two plus zero. What's interesting is it's black. So I don't, you don't see a lot of elves in black. So it's gotta go with the green deck probably. Sweet gum recluse, it's a spider. Six four zero three. wow. It's got flash, cascade, reach, okay. Then another rare, Lasa Shroud of Dusk. Sweet gum is a buck 81. Okay. Oh, I got triple rare in this pack. Let's see. Er, I got a Lasa Shroud of Dusk and a Yurlock. These cards look weird. Shroud of yeah, Shroud of Dusk, Lasa. Okay, I have a feeling like those rares you get in the back aren't going to be worth a lot because you could get two to three in a pack, you know what I mean? Yeah, you never know though, they can throw you a bone. Throw me a bone. Soul of Eternity, seven for a star star. Glacian, Power Stone. Oh, I got a Chroma. That is a good one. Sweet. And the Chroma. Yeah, a chroma. Second mythic. She's pretty. A K R O M A. I'm pretty sure she's good. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Dang, I'm getting rocked pretty bad on this box, by the way. Oh, there's a Jace spotting. Jace and Gideon with the bolas horns in the back. It's pretty cool artwork. Oh yeah, the freaking set symbol is the horns. Yeah. <laughs> Confiscate, the worm, a chroma's will after a chroma, how ironic. Oh, second special foil. A chroma will is 249. Nice, I got the second etched foil here. It's an uncommon this time. I'm keeping track. I got two in the box so far. Okay, we're on the second part already. So, nothing too crazy, nothing too good, nothing too bad. Volcanic Dragon. Oh, Volcanic Dragon. He's back. I like that artwork. 6444. Four, four. This one's pretty good. It looks way more like crazy than the original one. Sweet. Magus of Order. Oh, this looks good. 4433. Three. Magus of the Order, $1.33. Alright. Forceful Denial Foil. Gelect Dun Operative Rage. Mox Diamond. Mox Diamond. Oh, Moss Diamond. Okay, those are uh, from uh, Mirage, I think. Uh, Noxious Dragon. Oh, I remember that. Sounds familiar. And the rare is a Raksha Debaser with a lot of words on there. Oh, and a Del Borka Spectral Sergeant. Two rares in that pack. R A K S H A S A. Fifty cents. The other rare I don't think is any good either. Fake. This set is very top heavy. Very top heavy. Oh! I, like I got a wrong turn. <laughs> We're turning the wrong way. Slurk, all ingesting, yummy, a lose. You gotta get the... It looks good. I like it. It looks higher end than the regular foil, for sure. Like you feel... Yeah, it looks more uh, 3D. 
And if card feels kind of thick, premium, I don't know. It may be in my head, but it looks better. I like it. Oh, yes. Score rack. That's a good hit. All right. I like this card. It's very playable. Keleth, Rayev. I don't know. I that's a good question. You said you got an uncommon. I did. I got an uncommon. But is it like every single card in the set, or is it like from a special set of cards? I don't know. You know what I mean? Kind of like showcase. Promise of tomorrow. Sengir the Dark Baron. Double rare. Double rare. Prismatic Piper. Again, the alt art showcase looking card. Okay, looks cool. Got two of those already. Same exact one. Friday Night Magic. Deranged Assistant. On they this need one. to put a signature card. Oh yeah, what happened to the signature cards? Yeah, maybe that's just special. Golem Artisan. If they have the signature yeah. on the actual card. Oh yeah, yeah, they should. They probably will. Thought Vessel, this card's pretty good. You have no maximum hand size. I think it's, it's a couple bucks, yeah. Blasphemous Act is my rare. And Amira, Cartographer. Eh. 155 for Blasphemous. So my uncommon was worth more than my rare. All right. Inspiring War. That's why it's like, how could the uncommon be worth more than a rare? Like, it's playable. Hunter's Insight. Yeah, then why don't they swap places? They should. They should. Nightshade Harvester. 4 for 2-2, two, two. that's probably no good. Jury, I got a blue. Nightshade Harvester, 50 cents. Oh, this is a cool artwork. Blim, comedic. Genius, legendary imp. The common fleet commander. All right, so I got a scroll rack in the middle, just one mythic. We're on the last stack. Let me, uh, yeah, just resume the video real quick, just so we don't run out of room. Yeah, yeah. Let me. Only Lotus is from now on. Yeah, we haven't heard about anyone doing god boxes or air boxes anymore. Kind of sucks. I missed that. Count of Cunning. That looks like junk. Rebec. There's a counter spell. Yeah, yeah. I saw something on that. I have not gone it yet. So it seems like it's quite hard to get. Is it special? Is it like a foil or a showcase or something? Uncommon? Just regular price. Yeah. Like, it doesn't show a picture yet. So maybe it's a special. Demonic lore. That looks cool. Maybe you can only get in those commander sets. Maybe something special, yeah. I got an armored sky hunter. That doesn't look very good. A buck. There's a lot of junk in here, actually. You know? Dude, you know what's funny? Yeah. I got rid of the saint walkers from the stupid commander deck. Oh. Yeah, we haven't seen Planeswalker for a long time. I used to hate Planeswalker, but at least you get packed in them. Yeah, that's true. Well, I don't know what the Ooh, what the heck is this? Seven mana, necrotic, hex. Looks like smeared black. Yeah. Each player sacrifices six creatures. Oh my gosh. Six creatures? Why do we even have six? Yeah. You create if six... You have six creatures, you probably won the game already. Yeah, you should have won. <laughs> you create six tap two two black zombie creature tokens. No thanks. That's gotta be junk. Belbe, the Belbe, corrupted observer rare. I got another prismatic piper showcase. There's three already. They're just giving away that card. 
Yeah. Put it on the cool cars. Yeah. Come on, man. I mean, not, okay, not cool cars. I mean, cool. Useful. Stuff. Plain. Yeah, like a Jewel Lotus, Seb, dude. Yeah. That'd be sweet. Mindless automation, behemoth, and a ember wild captain. Yeah, it was a crocodile. Darko, Siani, Gildas comments. All right, dude, it's getting really bad. It's looking very, very, very bad. Yeah, look at the back card. Is that the Seb card? Yeah, it is. A Johnny in there. Okay, come on. Oh, look at this card. Cage of Hands. Yeah, there's a Planeswalker in there, I think. He's one of the top cards. Black one. Burning Anger. That's me right now. Doom of Fools. Doom of. Oh my gosh. I got a Sphinx of the Second Sun Mythic. Oh, Jesus. Hey, it's an $8 card. So I got like a $6 Mythic, $7 Mythic, and a $22 Mythic? $22. Still getting hosed on this box, like really bad. Really bad. I think the Sphinx will bring you luck. All right. I got like... Sphinx in this, in this set. Return to Dust. Arcane Signet. Oh, that's cool. This used to be worth a lot. Yeah, that used to be. Two, eight, twenty-eight. Two dollars? That's sad. That's that's pretty sad. All right, Sakashima's wheel. Will. Sakashima's wheel. Oh, okay, oh. and I got the regular crack, the thumbless. Quack. And another prismatic Dude. piper. Giving it. You don't want it, but they're gonna give it to you anyway. This is Sakashima. Sakashima. Yeah. Thousand bases. Yeah. That thing's worth like almost twenty bucks. Whoa! I did not get that. <laughs> you, got the, you got the will. I got the will of it. Right. Vow of torment. Judge. Kuambaju witches. That's also a set of works. Super cool. This is a reprint from Arabian Nights Legends, I want to say. How do you spell it? Kwambi. C U O M. Oh, Kwambaj. Kwambaj? C U O M B A J J. Really cool artwork by Seb. He is really back in this set. What the heck? It won't. Oh, C U? Yeah, C U O M. Witches? Yeah. Really? No, oh, hold on. They switched to online. What the heck? Court of Ambition. Okay, that's... And then another okay, one. There we go. Whoa! I... Triple rare pack again. Well, I mean, which is 39 cents. Yeah. It's an old school one. You'll probably remember it. Court of Ambition, a buck. Let's see, Archaeologica Ghost, Archaeologica, what, what? It's a dollar, Colfiner, it's 50 cents. I got a pack of three rares that are like a dollar. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're trying to make it exciting, but the value is just not there. Three rares in the pack, it's like whoop de doo. Before. Yeah, three junk. yeah. Now, if you get three mythics, that'd be cool. A god pack would be like the top three cards Jewel, Lotus, Mono Drain, Vampire Tutor. Oh, last card is a rare. No more Coercive Recruiter. Then I got another rare Lath Lathiel, the Bountainous Dawn. And the Sakashima's Will Foil Rare. That, I only got four mythics, man. Is that good or bad? I guess we'll find out. Pretty standard, but it just, this just felt very. It's low because in like a normal one, you get like eight. We, we've been doing a lot. 
more mythics than that. But then again, you, you get more packs, that's why. Yeah. I mean, we used to average four or five mythics a box back then. Yeah. With 36. They're doing more mythics now, though. Yeah. Got freaking tons of rares. Let me count how many rares I got. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 rares, not including the foil rares and the mythics. 33 out of 24 packs. That's a lot. That's not even rare anymore. Seriously. It's common. What's up with that? It's uncommon. It, it, yeah, the new rare is the old uncommon. The new mythic is the old rare. Yeah, I agree. So I only got two fetched foils. They're both red. They look cool. What I just don't get is this. You, they made it so it's easier for you to get inserts. But then that totally decreases the value of everything. So what's the point? Yeah. Because like, I don't, I don't know about this set, but the last set, right? Like, you would get a foil mythic and then a mythic, same card. The foil is worth like a dollar more. Yeah, that just destroys it. Yeah, it's like, what's the point in that? Like before. Getting the mythic, you knew it was like two times more. It was very deal. exciting. It was a big deal. Yeah. It's hard to get. And yeah, now it's like, oh, you got a twenty dollar card, and then you got the mythic. Uh, four mythic is twenty one dollars. It's like whoop de do, whoop de do. I don't know why they did that. I know it's to make it so you get more stuff, but do people really want more stuff? Yeah, like I know. Do they want the value? I don't know. It's. I gotta say, I'm. I'm it's unfortunate, but this box just was really underwhelming for me. Just didn't do it. Didn't do it. I think we're gonna have to get redemption from the collectors, man. This is not very cool. And I, what's interesting is you don't get a box topper. Yeah, no box topper in here. It's just like the rares were just whatever. You know, it's a lot of like junk bulk. Like you know, it's so forgettable. And then you just want the Lotus. The mana drain, and I don't know, maybe some other top cards, but what's what what else is good up? Oh yeah, Vampiric Tutor. These three, I feel like are gonna be up there. Those are for it's sure up there. Up. It's gonna show up. It's kind of like the core twenty one. What's what's are those prices doing any good? Yeah, let me look here. Yeah, not not bad. The Fury. Because it has like anchor cards. Yeah, Grim Tutor. I mean, they're not like super high, but they're stable. And I feel yeah. like this set. It's like all the core sets. Yeah. This set, those top cards are just gonna it'll hold it, but everything else I think is just gonna just be terrible. But I, but I think that's what that's what makes a set. Like Zendikar. Yeah. I don't know if anything's like anchoring the set, but everyone wants those special. Things. Yeah. That's it. That's all they want out of it, I think. Yeah. The rest of the stuff is just tanking like no other. Like, my Korea is pretty bad. It's probably one of the most worst recent sets. The only thing good in there probably is what, the Godzilla card still hanging in there? Collector. Yeah. Pretty I, crazy. I hope you have better luck. Because this, this was just like, I, people will sleep through this, man. The school rack was cool, but... Dude, the last time I got jumped, I forgot what I opened. Was it Zendikar or something? Yeah. Yeah, this this is pretty bad. I I think mine like let me see if there's the boxes are one twenty, I probably got forty dollars maybe maybe <laughs> maybe dude. 
Maybe. When was I the last you time? Made 100 bucks. No way. No way. This has been so long since we didn't break even on like a box. That's true. I remember. Oh yeah, I think I opened a collector. It was pretty bad, but at least I. Broke you broke even. even at least. Yeah. This is just like. It felt like BFC. <laughs> you know? It just. Yeah. I just like nothing like just like rare rare junk rares junk rares a lot of them yeah. like I don't even remember what I opened I just remember a score rack and a chroma and maybe yeah, I don't even remember the other mythics already I just opened it it's not memorable at all I did ah all right we're gonna that's just that's gonna get you hungry for um for the next one. For the collector. We better get some freaking lotuses in collector or vampiric or something. Mana drain, come on. Come on. Cause if you think about it, the rest of, you're gonna be pulling a lot of those bulk rares and the collector yeah. too. For sure. Yeah, uh, at least they'll be cool looking. Yeah, they'll look cool. Get some cool Seb cards in there, you know. Oh yeah. Just full art Seb. It's like, what, collectors, what, like $300? Where's, yeah. where's the freaking value coming from? I don't know, but... Where's the value of, what, like, 150 a box of this? Yeah, this one. This one's so far off, man. Dude, if you get, if you bought, if you spent 140 on that, or even 130 you got, you went to Pound Town. It was, it was hard. Hard, no lube, nothing. We just got smashed. No. Smashed. Yeah. All right, that's the first look though. It's gonna be one of the longer videos. We're getting, we're gonna get more into it, talk more about, yeah, see as the set grows. You took one for the team. I took it for the team. Ugh. Yeah. All right, as we always say, keep on cracking, and and stay tuned for more. The collectors coming up. Well, we're gonna do one more booster box. Then we're gonna get into the. The goods. Oh yeah, that's right. We're gonna we're gonna announce a giveaway in the midst of our collectors, right? Giveaway. Fun. Yeah, we're gonna finalize that. Do our first giveaway. It'll be fun. So you guys, hope you guys yeah. keep watching. We'll put a video out for that. Look for the details, how to win. Just stay tuned and keep on cracking. Keep on cracking.